Hello, good afternoon to all of you. I hope all of you are doing well. So in today's class, we will be learning about reliability matrices. So uh, in the previous class, we have understood that the reliability measures that we draw should be observer independent because if the reliability measures are observer dependent, then we'll have a perceived reliability, uh, which may not be accepted by um, all the users of the software system. So it's very important for us to draw or observe independent uh, representations for uh, the uh, the reliability measures. So let us try to understand some of the uh, the reliability matrices. So the first one is called as rate of occurrence of failure. So rate of occurrence of failure basically represents the the frequency of failure occurrences. So here what we do is we uh, tend to observe the behavior that is exhibited by the, exhibited by the software system uh, when the software system is put to operation for a given period of time and then we uh, calculate the total number of failures that are failures that are exhi exhibited by the software system for the given period of time so that is uh, rate of occurrence of failure now the next matrix that we have is called as mean time to failure so mean time to failure uh, it basically represents uh, the the average time between two successive failures so here what we do is uh, we observe number of failures right we observe large number of failures and then what we try to do is we try to determine average time uh, to failure now, uh, so the mean time to failure is uh, is relevant in case uh, in context to hardware because uh, in case of hardware system, what we have is we have the hardware system failing because of wear and tear, right? Okay, so the hardware system abruptly fails to perform action. Whereas in case of software, uh, when the software error is detected, the the error is repaired and the software is um, put back to use. So, so uh, whenever hardware system fails, it fails abruptly, and uh, whenever soft software system fails, it uh, gracefully degrade so that is what we have learned in the previous class so it's much more relevant in context to hardware right so now how to uh, 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 draw the uh, draw the mean time to failure so let us try to uh, observe uh, n number of uh, uh, failure records so here t1 t2 tn are the instances of time when the software system has failed then what we do is we find the uh, the difference between the successive time instances that is ti plus one minus ti right so what we do is we calculate many such instances right that is uh, for an example t2 minus t1 uh, 3 t2 minus t2 t4 minus t3 likewise tn minus tn minus 1 and then what we do is we find the average of it so that is called as mean time to failure now mean time to repair now mean time to repair is once the failure occurs right uh, the average amount of time that is required uh, to fix the problem is called as mean time to repair now mean time between failure now just see mean time between failure so what we need to consider is we need to consider two important aspects that is mean time to repair and mean time to failure right so mean time between failure is mttf plus mttr right so this is this is the way how mean time between failure is represented now probability of failure on demand so probability of failure on demand basically means uh, the likelihood of the system uh, failing to provide the services right okay so that is called as uh, probability of failure on demand so measurement of the likelihood of the system failing uh, to provide the services when requested for so if uh, probability of failure on demand is 0 0.001 it means one out of 10 1000 sorry one one out of 1000 services service requests may result in failure so that is called as probability of failure on demand so whenever we are trying to uh, demand the services of a particular function and, and if the if the if the in the, if the system fails to provide that particular function now that is called as probability of failure on demand now next measure is called as availability so availability so how like Likely the system shall be available for use over a given given period of time is called as availability. So here, the here what we need to do is we need to consider the total number of failure occurring during a particular interval of time, and all it also should take into account the repair time that is uh, that is required to fix that particular problem. So these are some of the important reliability matrices that we have. So in today's class, what we learned about is we have learned about uh, the importance of reliability matrices. We have learned about why it's important to have a have a observer independent evaluation of the reliability measures right again okay? and then we have learned about uh, 
mean uh, um, we have learned about uh, rate of occurrence of failure then we have learned about uh, mean time to failure then we have learned about mean time to repair then we have learned about mean time between uh, failure and we have learned about what is probability of failure on demand and what are what is uh, availability so these are uh, the six important reliability matrices that we have right so we have uh, a rate of occurrence of failure uh, mean time to failure uh, then mean time to repair then mean time between repair and then uh, we have uh, a mean time between failure and uh, we have probability of failure on demand and we have a viability so these are these are very important reliability matrices that one needs to remember about whenever we talk about reliability of software system so in this particular chapter if you remember uh, if you remember what we have learned about is we have learned about what is software reliability we have learned about importance of software reliability right uh, we've learned about relation between reliability and error we have learned about major problems that may be associated with the uh, with the reliability measurements right again and then we have learned about uh, the 90 10 rule and uh, then uh, we learned about the effect of operational profile on software reliability measurement and then we learned about reliability matrices where we learned about uh, uh, rate of occurrence of failure we learned about mean time to failure we learned about mean time to repair we learned about mean time between failure and we learned about uh, probability of failure on demand and we learned about uh, availability so this this uh, ends the the reliability chapter so thank you very much